Welcome back, YouTubers, Gunners, subscribers, all my people. Today, we've got some exciting, fun things to do. Um, we're tearing down this K20. This is Maddie's car. I don't know if you guys remember the, uh, the red EG. I showed you guys how to do a DIY K-series on. This is Maddie's car. We're going to tear it down and get it ready for a, uh, a head package. So we're doing valves, springs, retainers, guides, seals, keepers, camshafts, and... Uh, all the necessary maintenances you should do while you have a motor apart. So we've got all our parts here. This is going to be very, very simple because we planned ahead. So, I don't know, sit back, grab a beer, grab a soda, whatever the hell you do when you watch these videos. And, um, yeah, let's go. Keep going. Okay boys, so the first thing I'm going to do now is um, remove the water pump. Just get that out of the way before actually getting to the oil part. So I'll just spin this motor back a bit. that so what we want to do is just remove the entire coolant system so we've got four 14s grab the half inch here this guy here now always remember when you're taking something like this apart have a box ready I've got one right across I'm going to move it over to here so I can be organized because when we put it back, we shouldn't be looking for any bolts. I got my box here. Knock these guys out. Put that in there. I'm going to try to take this off in one complete unit. So I've got an 8 mil here that's holding up the oil cooler. Don't want to lose this. This is a K20A2. Push that to the side. This is ready to come out. Take off the 10 on the top here. So you got two 10s that run across on this housing here where you put your radiator hose. And I still have the 8 on. I'll move my sockets here. Yeah, man. You just take your time. It's fairly easy. Um, the reason we're... The reason you guys didn't see any progress on Maddie's car was his VTC on the exhaust cam gear has it doesn't move, it was locked up. So when Jamie tried to tune it, he really couldn't get anything done. So we decided since we're going to take it apart, we might as well do a head package. So just more unbolting 10s and 12s. Then we've got some stuff here. I think I believe this is a 13. I don't know why it's a 13. Oh, it was a 12. Alright, we got one bolt holding this up. And that's it. We are completely out. This is loose. I'm going to move this guy here. We've got some Honda Bond on here, so this, should, this shouldn't be uh, easy to take off. Now it is. Take out this complete unit all together. Crappy, you want to grab it when I take it off on this side. So we take out the whole water, um, the water pump, the thermostat housing, the um, what would this be called again? Uh, I don't know, water neck, whatever it is, on the cylinder head. Now that we have that part out, we can get, we can get into the valve cover and then the oil pan. Valve cover time. So. You don't have to take out the coil packs because you're going to probably lose a bolt or a nut, whatever you want to call it. You could leave the coil packs on when you're taking off a K-series valve cover. Dipstick. And just pop these tens off. This motor came out of a crashed RSX 
that was sitting in the yard for a long time so you could see like the corrosion and the rust and on on a lot of things you know but Maddie's car it's, it should feel great with this head package and um, we have a local machine shop so we just take it to him he's gonna take care of the cylinder head we just do the installation part so try to keep these guys on here you'll be you know with the grommets you'll be like trying to pick them out if they were there for a while so you just pry here that's good pry here on the corner See, these guys have been here for a while, so we'll lift them up. We'll take these valve cover grommets off. And when I tell you Matt bought everything brand new, Matt brought everything brand new. So I'll show you guys, I'll show you guys that later in the video of all the stuff that Maddie bought. But Honda bomb been on there for a while, boys. We've got all new gaskets, too. This might be the longest valve cover removal ever on YouTube. Ever. <laughs> now you know what we're dealing with here. Now we know why the uh, the exhaust cam gear uh, was locked up on the VTC. This has been on here forever. Look at that corrosion in there. Whoever owned this motor really didn't do oil changes. Probably ran some cheap gas in it. And that's the result of it. Okay, so now that the valve cover is off, we have to take off the side cover so we can get to the tensioner. You could get to the tensioner from this um, passageway here, but we still have to do the work anyway, so we might as well leave that on there. So the first thing we do is we grab a 14 millimeter and we take off the post mount. Everything's really corroded on this motor, man. This, this, this motor wasn't really put, this really wasn't, uh, this motor was not taken care of. It really wasn't sad. Pop this sucker off. Take this post mount out. Works smart. Not hard. That's out of there. Now we'll grab the tens. We'll remove all, all of them from the side cover and we'll uh, get right along. I'm going to show you something about these tens on the bottom, the complete bottom, right? So you have these two tens that have like this little hump on it, right? These always go at the bottom of the cover 
because that's what lines up the cover instead of these. These are the ones that actually go on the side, but these with the hump are always installed first because they center the cover. Okay, now, so all of our tens are removed. The crank pulley is removed with the keyway. It was a little bit of a struggle, but we got it out. Um, actually, it wasn't even that bad. I tightened, loosened, tightened, and it came out. This VTC uh, sensor is out of here, too. We got one brand new. Um, and that's it. Pop this sucker in there. Come off of the um, exhaust cam gear. Oh, I'm sorry. I messed up. The intake cam gear VTC, it was locked, not the exhaust. I apologize. That's it. Side cover is off. Clean that up. Get all the silicone off of it. And then um, we'll get to the other part. So we got a 10 mil here. Uh, two on the tensioner. Nice and slow. Take one side completely out, and then release this guy. That's it, nice and slow. That's gone. Take our crank, uh, crank positioning gear out, put that away. Uh, remove these two top 12, and then we can take the chain off completely. So we've got two 12s here, which we bought a new guide for. Put this in the valve cover so we don't lose it. Take our chain off. We're not using this chain anymore. We bought a brand new chain. So that's out of there. And uh, that's it. Remove these three tens on the guide because he bought new guides also. Maddie got money. Hold that here. Remove it. Keep that 10 there, take it back out, go here, it's no good. We've got, uh, I think this is a nine, a nine hex key. Sometimes the gun won't do it. Yep. Gun will not do it. Get our ratchet. Take that out. It's like puzzles, man. Just take your time. Okay, start from the middle and then go out. So 12 mils that are holding the cams and the rocker assembly. So we go out from the middle. Move over. Okay, we're officially loose. Sometimes these caps give you a hard time, so you lift up these two to almost the very tip of it, and you just wiggle back and forth. Out. I won't bore you with the rest. You do the same thing. If it's giving you a hard time, you just wiggle with the bolt back and forth. Out. And they're all numbered, and the arrow always faces to the cam gears. So I'm looking at number three, and there's an arrow facing to the cam gears. Always face your numbers to the cam gears, and on the actual uh, assembly, they're numbered. So that's it. Take these guys out and then the cams. So if you've ever dealt with K-Series um, cylinder heads, then you know that these rockers, they move around. There's springs inside. There's spacers. And if you lose that, you're in big trouble. So there's two tens on each end here. We're going to remove, and we're going to take off this assembly all together with the cams. So 10 here. Sorry that you can't see it, but you'll know they're right next to the cam sensors. 10 here. That's out of the way, right? We'll put our 10s back here. We're going to need a flat head and a pry bar. 
Travis, you got that side, I got this side. You're gonna grab it from somewhere around there. So we lift up together. Okay, it's ready to come out, I got it. All right, so we hold it together. completely out you keep the assembly together so you lose absolutely nothing okay so valve um, the head studs so this is how we're removing them same concept as the cams middle and out so we start the first one which is one here it doesn't really matter if you start here or here as long as you start from the middle take that all the way out here move over here trust me people are gonna tell you oh he's doing the theory wrong it's one two three okay buddy okay buddy And our cylinder head is about to come off. That's it. So we're using head studs on this. So these are garbage. We're going to throw these out. We never reuse stock ones. The, a the ARP ones, you can get away with using them maybe once or, t I mean, twice or three times, depending on what the torque spec is. But the factory ones are definitely stretch. So we'll throw these guys out. We'll take the cylinder head off. So now that we have all our head studs off, obviously we're just going to back and forth nice and easy and lift the head up. Just got to get it out of those dowel pins. Out. Lay it here. Inspect the cylinder head. The head gasket is perfect. We've got a brand new one, but... That's it. Take this head gasket off. Wow, that's in great shape, this head gasket. Unbelievable. Just dowel. All right, I'm not messing around with that on the camera. Um, the cylinder head is off. So, it has to go to the machine shop. I'm going to show you guys all the stuff that we're replacing. I'm going to send this to the machine shop. And when they call me, it's ready. I'll be right back. So now that we have the cylinder head off, uh, what exactly are we putting into it? So we've got Supertech springs, retainers, guides, seals, keepers, uh, bottom, um, uh, what is that? Seats. Bottom seats, yes, bottom seats. We've got a brand new gasket kit for the new valve cover we're getting. Uh, this was rusted out on the water neck. Uh, all the 10 millimeters, all the gaskets that we need, VTEC solenoid, uh, the front, um, brand new VTC. Uh, we got all new guides on the chain, the chain end, bottom pump, oil pump, obviously the, uh, the guide there. We've got a brand new tensioner from Honda, brand new oil chain, brand new timing chain, the other guide on the oil pump, brand new girdle. 5000 series uh, Ferrera valves, in my opinion, the best valves in racing. Ferrera is, to me, second to none. Uh, brand new Type S RSX oil pump. Uh, big shout out to Drag Cartel, sent us some goodies with some Drag Cartel 22s. So we're trying to get 250 horsepower, um, hopefully, out of this K20. I think we can do it. He's getting a Skunk Manifold Ultra. That's also going to help out a lot. But this build is this build. Um, it's fairly affordable, man. You just now think about it. Also, he's not gonna run into any problems because he's purchased everything new, so he doesn't run into a problem. So this is done the correct way. This is exactly how I would build my motor. You spend it once, and you spend it right. 
All right, boys, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Um, I wanna keep it contained. I don't want too much information. This will be a great way to teach someone how to take apart a cylinder head on a K-series, right? We could just send this link out and be like, hey, look at these directions. He tried to explain it as the best as he could. Um, yeah, we're gonna knock this build out right here. We're trying to finish up uh, Project Driver immediately. I can't wait. I've got my rims here. We've got the suspension on the car finally. We have our injectors. We have our motor. We're just waiting for an engine harness and then we're gonna put the motor in. But um, please, again, let me know how you guys like this content. Is it informative? Are you guys enjoying the channel? Can you help spread the channel? We're trying to grow on here, without a doubt. I don't even wanna use Instagram no more. I wanna be on YouTube, man. Um, and that, that's it, man. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, enjoy your weekend, man. Keep gunning.